how to add a custom domain on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can add your own custom domain on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, Shopify is a great platform to build your e-commerce store, but you don't want your, uh, you know, domain name to look like .my.shopify.com. That's like the standard free domain name that you get with Shopify. Although it is a great point to build your store, I highly recommend that you opt for a custom uh, domain name. And the way that you can do that is very simple. Now, to get started with linking your own domain, all you have to do is head on over to your Shopify store, go into your dashboard. Once you are in your dashboard, on the bottom left, you have this settings tab. Just click on that and you will actually see a tab on the left side of your screen that says domains. You just want to click on that. Then it will show you the current domain that you have and any kind of subdomains. Now, the best part about domain names is that you can connect subdomains that link or that lead to your actual uh, website or to your actual domain name. So it's kind of like hyperlinking with domain names. Now, after that, if you have already purchased your domain from a third party service, all you have to do is click on connect existing domain and you will enter the domain name. I'm going to give, you know, a very random example. So let's say this is my domain name. I'm just going to click on next. And then you guys can see this is available for purchase. Now I'm going to show you guys if it wasn't available for purchase. So if you have a domain name, you can see this is already connected to another Shopify store and you will be able to see the domain ownership as well. Now, after that, let's say we want to edit this once more. Now, you guys can see once you have, you know, entered your own uh, Shopify or your own domain name onto your Shopify store, you guys will get the connecting your domain. So next up, it will give you some instructions. These instructions are to verify your domain. You guys can see all of the instructions. Now you can click on verify connection and you guys can see you will you know get all this information and you're just going to enter your information to verify your domain name now after that if you do not have a domain name already and you're not sure where to buy your domain name then it is very amazing that shopify actually offers you to buy domains directly from their platform so you can just click on buy new domain in the domain section of your settings and from here, you can enter what kind of domain are you looking to buy. So let's say I want to buy something called Durden Clothing. This is unavailable. It's available in .net, .org, .store, .shop. And I'm going to just open it up. And there are a bunch of different, you know, options. Uh, let's say I want to go with DurdenClothing.co. And it is $18 for the first year of my domain name subscription. I can click on buy over here. And then after that, you know, it will just charge me on my card that you have already put, you know, put in on Shopify. And that is it. So uh, just like that, you can purchase your domain name. Now, if you don't have a domain name and you find that you can't find anything suitable directly on Shopify from here, you can go onto a platform like Namecheap. They usually have, you know, a lot more variety in terms of domains because they are meant to build, you know, they are built to find domain names to search for them so if you're not able to find a suitable one directly from shopify head on over to namecheap or any other domain but you know domain marketplace so if i search for dead and clothing over here and they might even get you a lower price so i do recommend you know hopping around and doing some domain shopping so you guys can see the domain names that they are recommending, .io, all these different domain names at the different prices. And you guys can see, you know, some of these domain names are even going for $3.48 per year. And that is a lot, you know, larger of a discount than the ones I was finding directly on Shopify. So make sure you do like a cross check to see where you can find the cheapest domain name for your Shopify website. Now domain names are a pretty easy thing to enter but make sure that you're taking into account the renewal price of each of these domains 
Although it might seem like a great idea to go for a $40 domain name, but they also have renewals and usually it's the renewals that get you because a lot of these ones say they're like $13, $14 for a domain name, but after one year, the renewal price is 80 to over $200 and they know that you can't afford this. And if you have to, you know, if you've already established that as your domain, as your marketplace, then you won't want to change your domain name. So, so it's very difficult to change your domain name once you have set it up. So make sure you take a look at the renewal fees for any of the domain names that you look to purchase. So what is the yearly price that you're getting and if you are you know getting it for a longer period of time obviously you can get a discount usually you can do auto renewals as well or you can turn auto renewals off if you want with Namecheap let's say I want to go for three years and it's going to give me the price and then I just can confirm the order to continue on with Namecheap and you know then copy and paste the domain over here and connect to my domain. So other than that, I do have a couple of more tips for you guys regarding Shopify and when you're setting up your Shopify store, make sure when you are setting up your Shopify store, you actually remove the password protection. A lot of people don't realize when they're building their Shopify stores is that Shopify, you know, my store currently, it is not visible to the public. This is a private hit store. To enable you know public you know everyone to access your store so you want to go into your home page then go into online store on the left side of your screen once you've clicked on online store you want to scroll down and you guys can see it says remove password so your online store is password protected and you can even click on your theme over here to preview it but you want to click on remove password over here and remove the password and now our store is open for business now anyone can uh you know access our store but if after some time you find there might be some bugs or you need to resolve some more things or you need to set up more things on your store, you can always go into online store, then click on preferences on the left side of your screen. Once you click on preferences, you can scroll down and you have password protection. So you can click on this box over here that says restrict access to visitors with the password and click on save. And this will once again private your Shopify store so you can set it up, maybe you're changing domains, maybe you're setting up, you know, more integrations, so on and so forth. There are so many things that you have to do so you can enable, you know, or give yourself more time to set all of those up as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to set up your own custom domain on your Shopify store. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.